Well, hi everyone. Hi, Welcome to Oakland University Health Sciences and Nursing Day. Um, we're happy to have you here. Welcome. Good morning. Um, this is an excellent large scale event that we'll be doing today. Um, if you have any questions, just note that there is a chat box in there. But before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Adam Panchenko. I'm a senior recruitment advisor here at Oakland University, and I'm very, very excited to welcome you to our virtual health sciences and nursing day. We hope you use this day to meet with some of our world-class faculty, staff, current students, and alumni to learn more about the programs that interest you within uh, the health sciences and nursing fields. Before we begin, I do want to let you know again that there is that chat function, and I've got um, the chat function up. We have admissions advisors and admissions staff and health sciences staff there uh, to answer your questions when you enter them in the chat. I also want to let you know that this event today is being recorded for your convenience. The recording will be made available shortly after the event concludes. You'll also be receiving an email containing an evaluation of the day and we truly value your feedback. By filling out the evaluation, you'll be entered in our Golden Grizzly giveaway. If you haven't been to campus in a while, you'll, you've noticed that uh, we've completed many new and exciting changes with some of our buildings. The health, uh, the Human Health Building houses the School of Health Sciences and the School of Nursing. And this five story structure has state of the art classrooms, seminar rooms, and an interactive media center. But at this time, uh, I'd like to briefly speak to you about some OU history and the resources at OU, as well as provide you uh, with application and scholarship information. As we provide you with an overview of financial aid, campus life, and more, we realize that you may want to access this information in the future. Uh, if you want to reference any of these materials, again, please refer to your reminder email uh, to find all of these materials available for you to browse at any time. And you can see them right here on your screen. So check that reminder email if you'd like to view them again. Oakland University was founded in 1957, thanks to a $2 million donation by Alfred and Matilda Wilson. We're a young university, which is exciting because there is room for constant growth. OU is home to over 19,000 students and OU has over 120,000 alumni all across the world. Speaking of those OU alums, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all the OU alumni joining us today. We do appreciate your dedication and loyalty to the university and for continuing the legacy here at OU. Thank you very much for continuing to do that. Now we also have a beautiful uh, 140, uh, sorry, 1,443 acre campus. All of our academic buildings are centrally located for easy access. Oakland University is home to Meadowbrook Hall, which is one of Michigan's largest national historic landmarks. Our campus is surrounded by entertainment venues, such as Meadowbrook Amphitheater, right here on campus, which has hosted big name artists like Nick Jonas, Steve Aoki, Kendrick Lamar, and Five Seconds of Summer. Oakland is also close to shopping areas with various options like Great Lakes Crossing and downtown Rochester. If you're into recreation, check out the nearby Paint Creek Trail, Clinton River Trail, and Stony Creek Metro Park. Now, in addition to all of that, there are OU sponsored events such as movie nights at the Imagine Theater and on campus drive-ins, as well as OU Night at Comerica Park. And during the fall, Yates Cider Mill is a big destination for delicious cider and fresh donuts. Oakland University proudly boasts one of the lowest crime rates in Oakland County and the number one safest public university in Michigan partially due to the many safety features in use around campus. There are over 100 blue lights all across campus, which will connect 
anyone directly to the OUPD dispatch. They also offer text message alerts that will send notifications directly to your phone in the event of an emergency situation on campus. Students and parents are both eligible to receive and they can enroll on OUPD's website. Uh, OUPD officers are also patrolling our campus 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Student involvement plays a large role in the lives of our students at OU. We offer more than 300 student organizations, including academic, social, Greek, political, and spiritual groups. The university regularly plans trips to fun places like New York City, Chicago, or Boston. And our Office for Student Involvement also offers discounted tickets to various events and performances throughout the Metro Detroit area. OU has 18 men's and women's varsity sports, including the addition of our newest eSports team. OU competes in NCAA Division I athletics as part of the Horizon League. The Golden Grizzlies have brought home 28 regular season titles, 77 conference tournament titles, and have made 55 NCAA tournament appearances. More than 3,000 students live on campus calling one of our residence halls or apartments home. Hamlin Hall houses first year students and Oakview Hall is the home to our Honors College. We're excited about the recent opening of our newest residence hall, Hillcrest Hall, which houses 750 students and has a new cafeteria and satellite recreation center. We also offer living and learning communities which offer social and academic support. Whether you're decided on a major or still exploring your options, the First Year Advising Center provides academic advising for all first year students. Students who are undecided or redeciding their past uh, in beyond the first year, as well as undecided transfer students will, will visit the First Year Advising Center. Your assigned advisor will introduce you to helpful resources and tools to assist you in developing a balanced schedule and making informed decisions about your major and your future career. The Honors College offers a unique environment for high achieving students through smaller class sizes and special topic general education classes and gives graduating seniors the opportunity to complete a thesis on a topic of their choosing. In response to the current COVID-19 academic, uh, academic what, oh my gosh, sorry, the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh my, I'm sorry about that. The Honors College has opted into test optional admission for the entering class of fall 2021 for students with a 3.7 GPA. Those students with a 3.3 to 3.69 GPA must complete a separate application for consideration. OU Presidential Scholar Award recipients are automatically accepted into the Honors College and all undergraduate majors are welcome to apply to this challenging, unique environment for high achieving students. Now, if you're interested in studying abroad, OU offers more than 100 programs that span six continents. Our programs give students the opportunity to live, study, or work side by side in communities throughout the world for as short as 10 days or as long as a year. To learn more about the variety of exciting study abroad programs offered, please visit oakland.edu slash IE. So I told you all these cool things about OU. Now let's get into the heart of the information, the academic areas. So Oakland offers 140 undergraduate programs and more than 130 graduate and certificate programs. These are divided into several professional schools and one liberal arts and sciences college. Please refer to uh, your program sheet if, uh, or you can go to our website uh, and see a complete list of all of those majors that OU offers. And again, we'll be sending out those materials via email a little bit later. Now, Oakland School of Health Sciences serves the community's healthcare needs and prepares our students to become leaders in healthcare, wellness, safety, and clinical laboratory sciences. So these programs include 
we have applied health sciences, exercise science, which includes a concentration in pre-physical therapy, health sciences, which includes concentrations in holistic health, nutrition and health, pre-health professional, and pre-pharmacy. Then we have clinical and diagnostic studies, which uh, specializes in pre-clinic professions. Then we have histotechnology and medical laboratory sciences, radiologic technology, and nuclear medicine technology. Then we have wellness and health promotion, environmental health and safety. Then we have a bachelor's in science and nutrition, and that'll be available beginning September 2020. So that just came about recently last September, the bachelor's in science and nutrition. You will have a chance to hear more in detail about each of these major programs in your academic showcase later in the program when we, we head into our breakout rooms. Now, Oakland University School of Nursing courses are led by professional caring and experienced faculty who are leaders in their specialties, who will be with you every step of the way in smart classrooms with state-of-the-art simulation labs. We're working together with many units on campus to ensure safety in the classroom, lab, and clinical setting while providing you the best, highest quality education supported by faculty fully committed to student success. And then we offer the basic BSN track, accelerated second degree BSN track, BSN degree completion sequence, where you are already an RN and you will be completing a bachelor's of science in nursing as well as graduate programs. You'll have the chance to hear more about this in detail about each of these major programs. And again, the nursing academics showcase breakout room later today. Now, I'd like to walk you through the process of applying to admission at Oakland University. Applying is easy and the application is found online at oakland.edu slash apply. The application is also free and we are currently accepting applications for summer and fall of 2021 and winter of 2022. So the average incoming freshman has a 3.5 GPA and a score of 1100 on the SAT or a score of 22 on the ACT. Now, typically OU will admit first year students with a 2.5 cumulative grade point average. Now for the fall of 2021, we have temporarily shifted to test optional admission. So that SAT or ACT test is not required. And that is in light again of the COVID-19 pandemic. SAT or ACT scores again are not required for admission uh, and consideration for the fall of 2021. So again, specifying that those scores are not required. Students are still encouraged to send in test scores if and when they have them. For course placement or additional scholarship consideration, we will use those scores. The test optional policy is under review for the classes of 2022 and beyond. In light of recent cancels, uh, cancellations of both the SAT and ACT testing due to the pandemic, we are also going to be extremely flexible regarding our March 1st priority deadline. We will be considering both updated test scores and updated grades well beyond March 1st. You may continue to send updates as you have them for additional scholarship consideration up until the start of fall classes. Now, as you can see, this chart uh, shows our scholarship offerings for incoming freshmen. We have made it a top priority to help students earn their bachelor's degrees, and we offer a variety of automatic merit scholarship awards for incoming freshman students, including one automatic award this year that requires no standardized test score. Now, our average incoming transfer student has a 3.1 GPA, and generally, transfer students with college credit and the 2.5 GPA or higher are admitted. Now transfer students must submit all transcripts from every college they have attended. However, transfer students with fewer than 24 college credits must also submit their high school transcripts. Transfers should apply by our July 1st priority deadline for summer scholarship consideration 
than August 1st for fall semester or December 1st for winter semester scholarship consideration. Transfer scholarship consideration is also based upon the student's cumulative grade point average at the time of admission. And then please see the scholarship and grants PDF in your reminder email for more information. Our average tuition cost for incoming freshmen uh, is just over $13,000 per year. And currently tuition is assessed based upon class standing, course and course level. So for more specific information and to view rates by course and course level, please visit oakland.edu slash tuition. University housing offers a variety of living options suited to your individual needs and interests. Housing rates for a double occupancy room for the, uh, the 2019 and 2020 fall and winter semesters, the, the time that's going on right now, is just about $10,639 for the whole year. More detailed information on housing and tuition rates can be found on the tuition rates PDF uh, that'll be sent out to you or again at uh, the housing website. I wanna take a minute to stress the importance of the financial aid process. To be considered for financial aid, students must complete the FAFSA or the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. The form can be found at fafsa.gov, F-A-F-S-A dot G-O-V. And now it opens on October 1st, the year prior when you plan to attend. For newly admitted students planning to attend OU, we encourage you to activate your accounts. If you haven't already, activating your accounts will allow you to choose your net ID, which will act as your OU email address. Activate your accounts at oakland.edu slash activate and admissions representatives like us are happy to virtual assist or virtually assist you with activating your accounts if you have the need. Additionally, all incoming students are encouraged to register now for new student orientation. Registration is available today during uh, the any of the sessions or right now uh, online at oakland.edu slash orientation to lock in your spot for our incoming class again, oakland.edu slash orientation. For those students attending OU in the fall of 2021, applications for housing are now available and students may apply at oakland.edu slash housing slash apply. Oakland University Undergraduate Admissions is on social media and here to help. I encourage you to uh, use your smartphone right now and like or follow us today to learn more about applying important deadlines and other upcoming admissions events. You can find us at facebook.com slash OU admissions and on Twitter and Instagram by following at OU admissions. And now I'd like to introduce Dean Graham Harper and Ann Jackson from the University Honors College who have a few words to share with you. Thanks Adam, good morning everybody. How's everybody going? Hopefully super well. We're just going to be relatively short here. We're here to support our wonderful colleagues in the School of Nursing and the School of Health Sciences. Uh, I'll turn it over to Anne in a second, but just to tell you, this is where the real power of the university lives. Uh, you might already know our president is a physician and our second in charge, our provost, is actually from, the, from health sciences. So this is, this is the power base of the university with this group. Um, and I'm half joking, uh, but I would say uh, in all seriousness, the largest number of students who are in the Honors College at Oakland, and there are over 2,000 students, the largest number of students are from nursing, health sciences, and in pre-med. So it is indeed the largest group that we support. Uh, the Honors College is here to support you. It's not to provide extra work. In fact, it's not extra work, it's extra support. And that's what we uh, take as our philosophy. And we want you to graduate in the top 5%. Uh, of students and that's our aim too because a lot of students in fact the majority of students 
uh, that come to join us in the Honours College uh, going on to grad school. And we want to give you those choices to get in the best, best grad schools, into, including our wonderful grad programs, of course, at Oakland. So let me take a, t a minute then to uh, introduce Ann Jackson. He, Anne's our uh, coordinator of advising. Uh, she's many other things as well, a dancer and singer and other stuff. Um, but Anne, I'll give you a bit more of an idea of our, of our program and our support. Over to you, Anne. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Harper. And I just would like to say good morning to everyone. I'm really happy to be able to just drop in and say a quick hello and really encourage you to consider joining us here in the Honors College. Dr. Harper and I could probably talk for a couple of hours at least about the Honors College and uh, what we think is really great about it. And I think the biggest reason for that is because we see how our students thrive throughout their academic career when they're involved in the Honors College and what they do in the end and how they move forward is just extraordinary. So we are pretty excited to share that with you. So I encourage you to check out our website and, and look into what we offer. What you're going to find is a very distinctive curriculum and that allows us to provide an individualized plan for every single student so that our goal is clearly to get you to your goal, whatever that might be. And as Dr. Harper mentioned, it's all about supporting you every step of the way. And that comes by way of additional opportunities for involvement and leadership and events that you can attend, networking and mentorship. All of those things um, are just a natural part of what happens in the Honors College. And also too, just to add on to what Dr. Harper mentioned, it's not at all set up to be longer, more difficult, more fast paced. And that reassures a lot of students because sometimes you're thinking that it's a similar thing that high school honors would be like, and it's, it's nothing like that, it's much different. Um, another thing that's really a nice um, additional benefit is you can apply for additional honors college scholarships, um, which is very nice. Those you can add on to any scholarships you might receive um, from admissions. So you can check that out as well when you're in the Honors College. If any of this sounds interesting to you and you'd like to know a little bit more, um, we do have a special virtual program that's coming up soon on January 20th. Um, and we call it Learn About the Honors College. And you're welcome to join in and um, have some fun with us and just find out a few more details about what that would be like. You can register for the event. It's on the OU main page. Um, if you look under the events in the calendar, you'll find it there. Um, but the last thing I'd like to add is um, at Oakland University, it's a very, very close knit community. I've been around Oakland for a lot of years, even when I started as a graduate student. And even though we've grown, the community family feel of Oakland has stayed exactly the same. And um, I think that's strengthened further when you're in the Honors College because you'll have a smaller, um, close-knit, family feel community. And we truly are here to support you in whatever that you need. So we, we love what we do. Um, we have a great staff and faculty. Dr. Harper is amazing. He works tirelessly to help students. I've never seen anything like it. So um, again, we just would love to help you achieve your goals. And we look forward to working with you and uh, welcome. Welcome indeed. Have a great day today. These are great schools um, and enjoy the day. See you later. Bye. Well, thank you so, so much, uh, Dean Harper and Anne. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Health Science and Nursing Day. I'm Dr. Kevin Ball. I'm the Dean of the School of Health Sciences. You know, it, it's beautiful here today on campus and our lead platinum human health building with all of its state-of-the-art teaching, learning and lab facilities is, is truly gleaming. And of course, we'd be thrilled to have you visit uh, when the appropriate time comes. But today, uh, we have an exciting and informative virtual program for you. You'll learn about our bachelor degree offerings, our opportunities for dual degrees uh, and accelerated master's degrees, about our unique Eclipse leadership experience, and overall, how it feels to be a member of our school. This image in front of you represents the various programs and health professions that we offer in the School of Health Sciences. We prepare professionals who work in hospitals, community and corporate settings across an incredibly broad range of health and human endeavors. And in the School of Health Sciences, we are always in purpose 
for health. So I'd like to start out our program with a brief video that showcases our school and some of our students. So let's see the video. Fortunately, we don't have the sound. <laughs> oh, you know what, Kristen, I think you have the solution. Got it. We are in purpose for health. As the Dean, I am proud of the supportive environment we offer for students, faculty, staff, and partners pursuing innovative learning, meaningful service, and vibrant research endeavors through our knowledge model. Going through school at Oakland University really taught me the importance of perseverance towards achieving my goals. Um, I love learning with different um, faculty members and students from different walks of life. Since graduating from the School of Health Sciences, I was accepted to the Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine, where I know I was prepared very well. I had a strong foundation of clinical knowledge that put me at an advantage compared to my classmates. One of the key things that caught my eye about Oakland University is that it was close to home, it's right in my backyard. And with the School of Health Sciences here, it just allows you to have an awesome opportunity to go into a lot of different professions to help people. And I've always known that's what I've wanted to do. So that's what really drew me to this school in itself is that's gonna allow me to display my passion. During my undergraduate degree, I took an intro to community health class. The professor that taught this class was so passionate about the topic and each topic spoke to me, and one day I had this aha moment, and I knew this is what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. In the School of Health Sciences, we serve over 2,000 students through distinct community-engaged programs. Built upon the foundations of the natural behavioral sciences, the Oakland University School of Health Sciences transforms students into leaders, connects theory to best practices, and impacts the needs of communities in purpose for health. So now I'd uh, like to introduce you to our Associate Dean for the School of Health Sciences, Dr. Kristen landis Pivovar, who will briefly tell you about our cricketer offerings and then we'll go on with our program. Great to meet you all. Greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. In the School of Health Sciences, we created this foundational model to help you align your interests and in health pursuits with the majors that we offer. You can see that we have this gold ring and it represents the behavioral sciences, while the silver ring represents the natural sciences. If your passion lies in the psychology, sociology, epidemiology of health, you'll find a major in the departments of interdisciplinary health sciences and in public and environmental wellness. On the other hand, if you're drawn to the natural sciences, physics, biology, and chemistry, then you'll find a health profession in human movement science, or in clinical and diagnostic sciences. All of our health majors are bridged by skills in communication and mathematics. This graphic is meant to help you find your best path starting out in your college career and to guide you down the right path as you learn and grow. At the center of this graphic is our Applied Health Sciences program. If you've earned or are planning to earn an Associates in Applied Science and would like to complete your bachelor's degree in the School of Health Sciences, this program is a great option for you. Let's take a walk around this graphic and explore the majors in the School of Health Sciences. You'll choose one of the departments that I describe to visit during our breakout sessions at 11.15 and at 12 o'clock. First, we'll start with interdisciplinary health sciences. If you're interested in opportunities that revolve around psychology and sociology of health, then interdisciplinary health sciences is probably a great fit for you, where life and health interests intersect. We have options for you in holistic health, if you're interested in learning about ways to augment traditional care with complementary methods to traditional medicine. If you're interested in pursuing a uh, health degree in medicine or physician assistant programs, you might consider our pre-health professions where you'll have a strong behavioral focus to help you prepare you for those professions. 
Uh, if you're interested in pre-pharmacy, we have an option for you in interdisciplinary health sciences as well, also with that behavioral science focus. If you have a strong desire to learn about food nutrients and the human behavior regarding diet and health, our nutrition major is also a wonderful option. You'll have hands-on experiences in community, clinical, and food service nutrition to prepare you for employment or additional graduate studies. We'll now go back to our foundational model and into the lower left corner of uh, public and environmental wellness. This particular department pursues society's big health challenges. Consider a degree in environmental health and safety. It's our environmental health and safety professionals who are helping the public understand our current circumstances and get back to public and work life in a recognizable fashion. They're also involved in protecting the environment and workers in industries such as automotive, transportation, and construction. Other big health challenges are taken on by wellness and health promotion professionals. As a student, you'll develop skills in marketing, implementing, evaluating, and creating policies for health programs in corporate, community, and clinical environments. For those of you who might be interested in a master's of public health, we have a dual bachelor of science in wellness and health promotion and master of public health degree so that you can earn your credentials a year earlier. This is a particularly significant time to consider a public health degree since these professionals are vital to community and personal health. Lastly, if you've considered nursing as your professional path but were deterred because of how very competitive nursing programs can be, we've collaborated with the School of Nursing so that you can use our wellness and health promotion degree to earn a guaranteed spot in the accelerated second degree in nursing. When you graduate, you'll have a unique and desirable wellness background as a professional nurse. Now onto the natural sciences and the upper right corner of our foundational model. With physics and biology at its core, our Department of Human Movement Science, Advancing and Restoring Physical Function is where you'll find a Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, and Doctoral Degrees. With a Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, you'll study the impact of physical activity and nutrition on human performance or you might follow our pre-physical therapy concentration so that you're well prepared to apply for a physical therapy doctorate at Oakland or at another university. You may even choose to specialize in our new orthotics and prosthetics program for a unique and worthy professional path as an OMP assistant. Finally, uh, oh, sorry, one more. Um, with exercise science, we also have a wonderful opportunity for a combined Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degree, a four plus one option. Again, where you can complete both your bachelor's and master's degree in less time than if you were to do, pursue both degrees independently. Now, finally, we will move on to the bottom right corner of our foundational model with an emphasis in biology and chemistry, the Department of Clinical and Diagnostic Sciences, serving the sciences of clinical determination. If you're interested in the biomedical sciences, this is your department. The majors in clinical and diagnostic sciences prepare you for a variety of clinical paths. We offer laboratory science fields, such as histotechnology and medical laboratory science. As a histotechnologist, you'll analyze tissues such as biopsies to help physicians guide treatments. As a medical laboratory scientist, you'll work with numerous healthcare professionals while you perform and interpret laboratory tests and data. In fact, medical laboratory scientists are the professionals who develop, perform, and interpret the coronavirus assays that are paramount to our public health right now. If you're interested in a healthcare degree with direct patient contact, consider imaging sciences such as nuclear medicine technology or radiologic technology. Both fields are involved in imaging organ and bone structures to help diagnose and or treat disease. You'll learn on Oakland's campus from certified professionals and in clinical sites to hone your technical skills. For those of you who are considering medical school, doctor of osteopathy programs, physician assistant programs, dental, veterinary, or optometry programs, you'll gain a solid foundation in the biology and chemistry of the human body in our preclinical professions specialization. You'll have research opportunities and learn from credentialed clinical physicians 
uh, excuse me, clinical professionals for a fantastic undergraduate experience. The pre-pharmacy specialization prepares you for direct admission to Manchester University's College of Pharmacy and has reserved seats for clinical and diagnostic sciences students, reducing your degree by one academic year. And you'll be prepared for admission to numerous other pharmacy programs. Coming soon, we have a new and unique pre-physician assistant program to prepare you for our upcoming physician assistant sciences degree in 2023. We also offer several minors that can enrich your educational and professional experiences and that broaden your perspective and health pursuit. Ask about these minors in the breakout sessions at 1115 and 12 o'clock as you transition to the individual departments housing our majors. I'll conclude with our foundational model one last time. Remember to use this model to align your interests with your passion and find your major in the School of Health Sciences. If you're interested in psychology and sociology, interdisciplinary health sciences, sociology and epidemiology, public and environmental wellness, physics and biology, human movement science, biology and chemistry, clinical and diagnostic sciences. Now I'd like to introduce you to Kelly Dowd, Coordinator for Student Services, Leadership and Engagement. Kelly will tell you about our innovative Eclipse program and introduce you to a few of our students. Awesome, thanks Kristen. Um, hi everyone, I'm Kelly. I'm gonna go ahead and share a little presentation here with you. But so uh, as Kristen said, I'm the coordinator for student services, leadership and engagement in the School of Health Sciences. Um, I wanna take a second to talk about um, some great ways you can get involved um, on campus and with us. And uh, just real quick, we do have our social media that you should follow us on. We put all our um, up-to-date info and everything, events that are going on, um, important dates, all of those kinds of things. So Instagram and Twitter is at Oakland USHS, and then on Facebook, School of Health Sciences um, slash Oakland University. Um, and so Eclipse is a leadership program designed to help you build skills that are necessary for being successful in health. Um, Eclipse stands for Explorations in Collaborative Leadership and Interprofessional Education, which is really just fancy words for saying we're going to help you um, build the skills you need to work more collaboratively in health settings um, to give better patient and community care. Um, so throughout the program, you'll build leadership skills. You'll go throughout your entire degree. Um, taking IPE courses is what they're called um, that are zero credit hours and um, but show up on your transcript. So something to help you stick out. Um, in the field. You'll get entered into a peer mentoring group. And so you'll have a group of students uh, in your major, um, some upperclassmen that'll be able to help you navigate um, being in health sciences and the different courses you're taking along the way, um, help you set goals and, and be a little community um, within the program. As part of Eclipse, you'll attend monthly workshops. So um, once a month, we'll focus on helping you synthesize the things that you're learning, you know, in the classroom and outside the classroom and how you're actually building those skills throughout your involvement. We'll help you categorize or um, catalog the things you're doing with an e-portfolio, which will also help you stick out um, in a really good way uh, in a competitive field. Uh, anything you can do to make yourself uh, be extraordinary and in this field is a good thing. So um, Eclipse will help you do that. We're also a very community engaged focus program. And so throughout the program, you'll participate in community service, um, getting hours that many people need for um, graduate school applications and medical school, thing like, things like that, um, as well as a community impact project during your senior year in the program um, in order to reach platinum, our final status in the program. You'll also be able to uh, engage with faculty, so doing research uh, and having opportunities to work really closely with them, as well as get rewarded um, for the things that you're already doing on campus. So you're probably going to get involved, you're going to join a student organization, you're going to um, volunteer anyways, you're going to get a job in a clinic or an internship, those kinds of things. Um, and so we'll give you credit for those things, uh, even with like a stole you get to wear at graduation and pins each year. Um, we do lots of great fun activities together. Um, this picture here is Lena, one of our students from environmental health and safety is her major, um, making blankets for a local organization, Fleece and Thank You, to give blankets to kids in the hospital. Um, and so we do lots of different things like this to keep you community engaged. 